Hello everyone, this is Lovable Troll, and welcome back to, I guess, battle number eight. And if you haven't seen the first part of the episode, I will put an annotation in here somewhere, maybe over Welkin's face. Uh, so you can go and watch that and see how we reached to this point in the battle. Now if you've already seen that and are looking for more of the this video, just sit tight. Or if you skipped part one intentionally because the first part of the battle was boring for whatever reason, that's perfectly fine. We will continue it from here. So some of the stuff you missed, the Potomus is a giant tank that uh, destroys everything and is damn near indestructible. At least for now, it won't be in the future. And at the end of the last battle, Salvaria appeared. I think I mispronounced her name, maybe, I don't know. But she is a monster. She will destroy anything. I can't hurt her. She is, uh, I just need to avoid her at all costs, which is why uh, Largo, or Jan rather, and Herbert are hiding behind the tank because she can't hurt the tank per se, and she would have to shoot through the tank to get them so they are safe. Now, this particular turn, I usually mess up because I need to get close enough uh, to the front of the Batomis where they can hide behind the Edelweiss, but I can't get too far forward or the front gun will shoot me and then it'll waste a turn. So hopefully that doesn't happen. So let's go for it. Entering combat. Okay. So wait for her to finish shooting. And we're gonna just position um, that is probably good. We'll go with that. And then uh, Herbert can move. Now the only person that I really need to survive is Herbert. And the enemies will stay clumped together. So if for some reason, like, if I'm moving Jan and somehow he ends up getting killed, I can leave him there and the enemies won't get him because the tank is going to defend his dead body and he will survive. Everything is fine, though. So as long as I positioned right and didn't position dumb, everything should be fine. Um, let's see. They Luckily, they don't know she's there. I kind of want to take out that Lancer. Probably not a good idea, but I kind of want to take him out. No, don't take him out. Don't take him out. Just end the turn. Okay, so... It turns out I was wasting a couple of turns. Not that moving is wasting a turn, but I forgot to heal the Edelweiss. So, it's not doing so well. Luckily, I think everything still should work out okay. I need to get out of the range of the back gun. But that's not a huge deal. What is in my way? Did I just get stuck? Tell me I did not just get stuck. Okay. Good. Okay, so... I may have got a little bit stuck, but not a huge problem. I'll just maneuver my way out. Perfect. Now luckily the tank is perfectly fine just sitting here. And uh, I guess they're going to shoot each other a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to save some time and I'm going to mortar this area just to kill some of the guys and give my units a safe way to move about the map. I'm gonna leave Jan there, just because... Yeah. Eh, he'll yeah. be fine. And then... No, 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 Okay. That was scary. Like I said before, the, uh... The camera is not always your friend. So, I'm going to fix the Edelweiss real quick. And then move to the other side. 
because the last radiator is up there, and he can just kind of sit here and be fine. I'm going to have him just crouch right here, and everything should be golden. So, let's see, who's left? Silvaria, Shock Trooper, Lancer. Okay, cool. So, uh, Jan might die, but he'll survive, because I only need to live one more turn. I'm going to move him up a little bit, just to be on the safe side. And with any luck, I could probably just kill this guy, hopefully. Or not, that's fine. But now I am far enough up where I don't have to worry about the back gun, and that'll be it. Alright, so as expected, Jan did get beat pretty bad, but the Potomac shot where it was supposed to, so Herbert will be able to go up, got, uh, get the last radiator, and... I guess this battle is pretty much won. Assuming my tank can do enough damage, which it should be able to, in in other attempts, it has been perfectly fine. Alright, so now that all the Batomus' radiators are down, its defenses are lowered, and it can actually be hit. Now, if I had like the ultimate uh, hidden abilities unlocked, I would probably just use Largo, or possibly even Yoko or Elise to get this done. But because I don't, I'm going to have to settle with uh, Welkin and the tank. Now I do have damage boost. I was trying to get demolition boost, but I misused my experience and could not get Lancers to level eight. But damage boost should get the job done. So I'll issue this order. Hurting them means us surviving. Be merciless. And now the tank will finish this battle for me. I'm gonna move out of the way a little bit just so that I don't accidentally hit the treads. And then from here on out, it's just. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So, um, I guess as long as I'm just doing this, doing let's see. Um, seeing as how this rest of this part uh, was kind of fast, all things considered, uh, when removing the enemy turns, um, part of me doesn't feel like it really needed go. to be a two-part episode. But uh, I didn't want to have a super long episode, so uh, that was something I decided before I finished the battle. In retrospect, I'll think that through. And um, even though everything didn't go perfectly, all things considered, uh, the battle went pretty well. I, I might not have enough to kill it. <laughs> I better have enough to kill it. I have, what, four attacks left? Yeah, it should be enough. Here's hoping. Okay, so... Well, this is gonna cut it close. Here we go. So, just a minor thing. Uh, there is a DLC with Sylveria involved, Fire! where... You kind of see her side of the story, and a little bit of context as to why she's working with the Imperials. Here we go. And it doesn't—it it does add an interesting side to the story, but the main benefit is you get this sweet machine gun that does stupid amounts of damage. And I might do it. I probably go. won't do it now, just because. Uh, it's a little bit too overpowered for this point in the game, especially since I'm doing this as kind of a normal playthrough with some walkthrough type aesthetic every once in a while when battles are easily A-ranked. 
Um, but that's something I'm, I'll probably do in the future, just little bonus stuff later on. So, the giant tank is destroyed, and the battle is won. Perfect. And there is that A rank. It took nine turns, and like I said, as long as you don't mess up, you get that A rank no problem, and it is really good to get because it gives you a lot of experience. The money's not that big of a deal, you'll have enough over the course of the game, but the experience, if you're not farming the skirmishes for experience and money, having the A rank for this mission gives you a great boost. And I don't know why the Batomas is only counted as a heavy tank. I feel like it should be higher. Oh, I guess I got an enemy ace too, so... That's cool, I guess. So, uh, that's going to be it for the second part of this video. If you liked it, you can go ahead and give us a thumbs up. You can subscribe to see more of our content. Uh, we do have some new things coming out in the future. Uh, we have a vlog type deal with other members of the Frivol Clan, as well as uh, Rev and myself are going to start doing some Minecraft stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll have new playthroughs of different games coming out pretty soon. Uh, but that stuff will all be discussed uh, in the vlog, so you can check that out. I'm not sure how soon it'll come out. We'll probably be recording it sometime uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, as of when this is recorded, it might already be out or recorded by the time um, by the time this actually is uploaded. Uh, but you can follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. The links to those are in the description below. This is Lovable Troll. Thank you, and have a great day.